We have different things every day as a special. By me making a special dinner, special lunch, it brings the people going, what is Ali's cooking special this week? Let's go find out. As the first stacks of wood for the day start to burn, Ali Esfandieri is doing what he does best, cooking. Like a fine craftsman, he takes special care to slice and dice the perfect cut of meat. And that's because the people who travel here from miles around expect nothing less. We're very blessed because of reputation. People from Dallas for work, Midland, Odessa, lawyer, you know, doctor, they want to get away from the big city and traffic. You've become a destination. Right, right. They're getting away. How you doing, my friend? Well, you know you've made it to Albany, Texas, once you reach the Beehive Restaurant and Saloon, where the air lingers with the smell of steak sizzling over a hot grill and iced tea is served in mason jars. It would seem that creating a Texas restaurant came pretty naturally to a guy born on another continent. I was born in Iran, north of Iran, by the Caspian Sea. Soccer, though, they got you to America. Got me to America. When I started in San Jose College, I hardly speak English, but I was playing soccer because uh, a lot of university in America, they were looking for uh, foreign students. So that's how I started. Ali began making a life for himself in California with just 600 bucks in his pocket. And over the years, he traveled from state to state, always making sure that he worked in the best restaurant in town. Because of me moving, I work in the finest restaurant in the next town. I worked there because they told me they make the best red snapper. I go, okay, I go get a job there. So the menu here is from many different restaurants from different part of the country. The things you learned right. as you moved around. Yes, like today we have a schnitzel. Schnitzel is a German food. For Iranian in Texas making a German food, they come in. <laughs> And come in, they certainly do. From perfectly seasoned kebabs to shrimp platters, the Beehive has a dish for just about everybody. Even Blake and Miranda grabbed a bite to eat here a time or two back in the day. And while Ali doesn't have a guest book, he does have a rather unique way of knowing just who's stopped by. What's this all about? It's just a tradition and people come in and Put the name, and the deal is, when they come back next time, they say, friend, hey, hey, I was here, look at my name on that dollar. Oh my God, you were here, yes, there's my proof. And everybody call it million dollar wall. Besides your food, why do people come back here? History of this place, and talking to me. You're, you're quite a talker. I am, I love You've got food. a lot of stories. I could write a book, but God, they never finish it because there's so many pages. <laughs> Don't push it, okay? Oh, just, just, it. yeah. <laughs> After the day is over, you're the same person. When people come in here and, and had a meal and they leave, how do you want them to feel? What do you want them to take away? The first thing I want is make sure they don't stop by Dairy Queen and get the hot dog because that means I didn't serve them enough food. First. Second, I want them to remember not just the food, for me being there. When you walk in, I won't come to you and say, Where's the table right there, sir? No, I said, how are you? By yourself. Would you like by the window? Would you like this one? No, don't sit on that chair because that's close to the door. It won't open the door, it get cold. You sound like a happy man. Oh God, yes. You gotta enjoy every day of the life because I believe every day above the ground is a blessing. German chicken fried steak. When I start my engine in my car in the morning, six o'clock to warm it up, I kiss my Quran. And uh, I pray to God. I say, God, thank you for yesterday business. And thank you, you give me a chance to wake up this morning. But tonight at midnight when I go home, I shut the engine off, I pray to God again. I say, thank you for giving me one more day. But always I believe 
This is the greatest country in the world, land of opportunity. I had a guy tell me, he came also from another country, and he told me, God blessed America too much. What do you think? There is no such a thing as too much. I believe, beautiful country. God bless America too much. I don't, I don't see that. God bless America just right. And you're happy to be here. I am very blessed to be here. Not happy, blessed to be here. Over the years, Ali has become a true Texan and a grateful recipient of the American dream. His entire family moved from Iran to Texas, and together that family runs the Beehive Restaurant and Saloon. They've even opened up a second location, and it's all thanks to an opportunity Ali says they could get nowhere else but in America, where the recipe for success is available to anyone who wants it. You see the portion? It's huge. Yeah. I didn't give up. My friend, only in this country. I did not give up. But hard work never kill you. Not working, you die. Hard work. That's hard work. Key. Hard work, number one. Number two, honesty. Be honest. When I left Iran in the airport, I asked my father, what religion am I? My father was a Muslim. My mother was Catholic. My father said, don't cheat, don't lie, don't steal. If you can help, help as much as you can and believe one God. And I'm going with that for 40 years now. So, and it's, and it's working. working. Yes. Life is good, my friend.